Hello Virgo viewers, I usually like to pull the cards in front of you, but I got interrupted by a spam caller, so had to stop where I was at. Um, anyway, so the reading I did a couple weeks ago, I was getting that you're, you're feeling lonely, but you're going to find your tribe and your soulmate when you commit to being your true unapologetically weird self. Like, this is like the energy of someone who like wants to wear corset dresses and cloaks out in public, but you feel weird doing it. It's like, just do it because then... You know, you're going to be wearing that and at the store and everyone's going to laugh at you and think you're weird. But then one person is going to resonate with that energy and that person's going to be your soulmate or someone from your soul group. So like who cares what society thinks? It's not about society. It's it's about your soul group, your your tribe that you're trying to manifest. You know what I mean? Like let them laugh. Let them judge. You know, let the muggles judge. Who cares? You know, you're going to find that one person, though, that's just going to resonate with that energy and just be, you know, turned on by it and drawn to you and, and recognize your energy. It's like your soul group can't recognize your energy right now because you're trying to fit in and blend in with society and you're not really standing on your own. It's like you're maybe listening to, to toxic family or friends or, you know, trying to do right by other people all the time, but you're not really doing what's best for you on a soul level. It's kind of like you're just trying to to blend in. And, you know, all the most, you know, the best artists and musicians and, you know, actors and writers, they, they all stand on their own and do their own thing. And, you know, they just, they're, they're true to themselves above all else. You know what I mean? And it's like, that's, that's the best kind of artwork when it's just weird and raw and creative and they just they're willing to bring their ideas out into the world. And even if people judge them and laugh, there's still going to be those those few people that resonate with that energy. And, and that's how you really get somewhere. You know what I mean? So. So, yeah, I think that's why a lot of you are feeling lonely because you're you're you've got the wrong people around you. You're you're trying to fit in with the wrong people. You're trying to tone yourself down for the wrong people you know if, if it's your soul group you shouldn't have to tone yourself down you should be able your soul group is going to love you and accept you as you are they're going to want you to be your true self so if this is your reading I just recommend going in and if you're new to my channel I recommend going and checking out that video I posted a couple weeks ago because I go more in depth into that energy but basically just you know just be yourself no matter how weird it is. You know, who cares if people laugh? People probably will laugh. People probably will judge. And they'll probably wish they had the guts to do what you're doing. And, you know, it's not about them. It's not about society. It's about those few people that are going to resonate with your energy, your your soul group. It's like your, your tribe can't recognize you right now. Like they don't, you know what I mean? Like they can't recognize your energy because you're trying to tone it down and blend in. So I recommend, you know, staying true to yourself and, and, not caring what they think, you know, push past that. And it's uncomfortable at first, you know, it is. If you're, if you, if you want to dress a certain way and you're worried what people will think, like you're going to feel uncomfortable at first. You're going to feel anxious at first. You're going to probably get judged at first, but who cares? That's, that's you. That's who you really are. The world needs more leaders. It needs more creative types, you know, just, just be your true self. Just push past that energy, even if you're nervous and it's, it's going to set you on the right path towards your soul group. But anyway, these are these are the three cards. Like I said, you know, if, this, if that resonates, go back and check the reading I did a couple weeks ago. But these are the three cards I pulled before I got interrupted by that telemarketer. Divine intervention, uh, codependency, addiction, dreams, visions, telepathy, isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Open, honest communication message. Sorry, let me straighten this out for you guys. There we go. Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. You could have some psychic vampire types around you. I feel like for some of you, the divine is stepping in and trying to get you out of this codependent, like 
energy. You could be there could be an addiction or some type of codependency, something that you're sort of hooked on. Could be a person, maybe someone that's just familiar to you. Like you know this person isn't your soulmate and not isn't your twin flame. Like you know this is a karmic situation, but maybe it's just loneliness. Like you don't want to go through a breakup or you don't feel like being alone or maybe it's like you talk here and there but you just you don't know what, what else is out there this could just be a pattern too of, of you know a certain type of, of relationship that you keep going for and your guides are saying you know yeah if you step out of this code whatever it is that you're addicted to or codependent on whatever energy it is that you keep repeating if you step out of it then yeah it is going to be kind of lonely at first you might feel kind of isolated at first because it's like you're when you cut a group of people out or you cut, you, you might need, this is the energy of someone that needs to do some cut and clear work for sure. When you cut a group of people out, when you let people go that are toxic and just, you know, dragging you down and you would know for sure, like this wouldn't be something that you would have doubts of. Like you would know that like your soul would be screaming at you that these people are not right for you, that these people are not your people, that this isn't what you want, but maybe it's like a group of friends or something, but you just, you don't want to go through all the drama of ending friendships and then having to answer questions and then finding a new friend group. It's like maybe you're just kind of settling for what you have now because it's like it's just too much work. Could be family even too, toxic family members, a toxic relationship. Could be just general energy of codependency and addiction to something. Like you might know what that is. It might be personal to you. But whatever it is, it's like your guides are saying, yeah, it's going to be you know, lonely at first, you you do feel when you cut energy like this out, you do feel empty at first, you know, there's what, what is that quote, the change doesn't come by change doesn't come by only um, fighting the old, but also replacing the old with the new energy. That's, that's important, you know, because you have this void there, when you take something out, you have a void and you have to replace that with something healthy. Like you can't quit smoking and then just not do anything to replace that addiction, you know, because then you're going to get stressed and bored and go back to smoking. Or you can't like replace a, you can't cut a toxic person out or cut a toxic group of people out and then just not have anything. Like you need something, you need an outlet, you need something that's making you happy, be it an, be it an animal, be it hobbies, career, you know, you need something there to replace that energy that you just lost so that you don't fall back into those old patterns. So that's really important. So your guides are inspiring you and encouraging you to make these changes, even though, you know, you're kind of stagnant and comfortable right now and you're not really wanting to make those changes. And you know what this is. This is probably specific for each one of you. Like some of you, this is a toxic family member or multiple family members, friend or multiple friends, a, a group of people, um, a certain addiction to something. You could be addicted to a certain, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be something else you're addicted to or something else that you're codependent on or a, or a partner, whatever it might be. But it's saying like, yeah, you're going to, you might feel kind of empty at first. You might feel kind of alone at first. You know, you've gotten, you've used this as your crutch, you know, you've gotten used to this energy. And so there might be a sense of isolation, but as you cut this out, it's like, cause you're like kind of in limbo, you know what I mean? Like you cut something out and then it's like, where do you, like, you feel kind of lost for a period of time because you're not used to not having that. And then you're like, what do I do from here? And so it's just saying like you fill that fill that void with something more healthy and more positive, something like like hobbies and art and music and career. Like if you sing or you play an instrument, get back into doing that again. You know, pursue that, pursue the things that you're really passionate about. Um, you know, find a way to to fill that emptiness with with more positive things. And develop genuine self-confidence. And it's saying, you know, like, yeah, there might be a period where it's kind of painful and you kind of feel lost, but just just go through that process, you know what I mean? And keep pursuing your dreams. Pursue maybe there's certain things that you couldn't pursue with this person or with this addiction or, or people around, like certain hobbies and interests that they looked down on or just things that you wanted to be or do that you couldn't really do with them. And so it's like it's a chance to reclaim that part of yourself. You know what I mean? So just remember, yeah, there's going to be a void there and you need to fill that void with positive, healthy things that make you happy. Fill that void with your passions so that you don't fall back into this energy of codependency and addiction, you know? That's where people go wrong a lot of the times is they cut something out, but then they don't replace it with anything. They just, you know, they then they just feel empty and lost and they, they end up crawling back to this energy because they don't know what to do with themselves, you know what I mean? So you got to make sure you don't do that and that you actually... um find some good outlets for this energy. But your guides are reassuring you like, yeah, my change is scary. You know, healing is is scary. It's messy, but 
sooner or later, if you go through that path, you're going to have this energy of dreams, visions, telepathy. You're going to be reconnecting with your intuition. So you might have energy vampire types around you that are blocking you. I feel like there's actually some people or some, some sort of energy. It could be you. It could be your own patterns or your own mindset that's blocking your soul group to some degree. And I feel like when you clear this energy out, you're going to, your dreams are going to get stronger. You're going to start really, um, you might go through a psychic awakening process. I don't know if you've been through one already. Some of you might go through another one because you can have, I mean, it's probably never going to be as intense as the first one is like when you really come into your power, but you know, you might still go through that process where you start, where you start, um, you know, having dreams and visions and synchronicities and, and signs again and getting back in touch with that free spirited side of yourself. That's this, you really need to be true to this part of yourself and reclaim this part of yourself and put yourself, put this part of yourself first. Don't let anyone take that away from you again. You know, you really need, you need to protect yourself right now too, because there might be some frenemies around you, I feel. And, but, but yeah, it's like, yeah, you might feel kind of lost at first, but you know, keep following your soul, keep following your heart, keep doing the more creative you are and the more willing you are to step out of your comfort zone, the easier it's going to get. You know what I mean? Like it'll be scary at first and then it's just going to start feeling right to you. Like it's just going to start making sense. Like, wow, I've been, I've been, you know, dressing, uh, I've been wearing, you know, these outfits the past few weeks that I, that I designed myself and they're, they're crazy and they're out there. I look like some kind of evil queen. Like, what am I doing wearing these at the grocery store? Like, and then, you know, week three, you're starting to finally get used to wearing them. And then that's when you like meet your soulmate and they're just like, wow, that's awesome. Like you made that yourself. Like they're just going to be so turned on by that. And that's how you know someone's right for you too. Like, cause that resonates with who you are on a soul level. You know what I mean? Like that creative, raw, weird energy resonates with who you truly are. And that's how you know that someone that resonates with that is going to be like a kindred spirit. You know what I mean? Like the people that don't resonate with it, who cares if they don't resonate? Who cares if they laugh? Because those people are not your people. They're not for you. They don't, they're, they're, you would be miserable with them. You know what I mean? Like ultimately you guys wouldn't even be happy together. So who cares what they think? The people and the person that you would be happy with is the person that's going to see you wearing that crazy outfit you made and be like, wow, that's amazing. That's so, that's so sexy that you wear that. That's, that's awesome. And they're going to be so curious about it and so open-minded, you know what I mean? So it's like, don't tone it down. This goes for like psychics and witches and those types too, where you're like trying to, you know, maybe meet like a normal person and you're like, oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say I'm a witch too soon. It's like, no, say you're a witch. You're a witch. If you're a witch, you're a witch. You want someone that accepts that. You don't want someone where you have to, you know, stay in the broom closet and you have to pretend like you're not or you have to, you know, hide your tarot decks from them because they think it's weird. No, you don't want that. You don't want that muggle. That's not for you. Pass that up. It's not worth it. Because you can have, you can have, you can leave your mark on the world. Like you can have this really interesting, creative, beautiful life if you're willing to push yourself out of your comfort zone and stay true to yourself above all else. And it's going to be a process. Like you're, at first you're going to have people laugh and judge you and they're going to try to tame you again. They're going to try to like, they've been putting chains on you and they're going to try to keep putting chains on you and you have to break free of those chains and you have to be strong and push through it. And you have to cut some people out. If they don't accept you as you are and love you as you are, cut them out. They're not your people. You know, your people are going to love your creative, weird, crazy side like they're gonna resonate with that energy that's how you know that's your tribe so screw society and you know what people think and whoever it is that's dragging you down and stay loyal to your real soul tribe your real soul group and your real soulmate and twin flame you know you almost have like these imposters around you that you you think are your soul group but they might not be um because remember some people are not born into their soul groups in this lifetime sometimes. And this is like, this is like a fairy soul. I feel, I feel like maybe you guys have like fairy spirits because a lot of people are not born into their soul groups this lifetime. So keep that in mind that your, your, your biological family, and this isn't for everybody, but for some of you, your biological family may not be your soul group. You need to intuitively ask yourself that question, you know, like they might not be your, your past life soul group. Um, 
Anyway, if this is resonating with you too, I also do private readings. My email address is below in the description box. So I can look more in depth into, you know, whoever this is, um, what's coming in for you after this, like how to get you on this path, whatever you want to know, really. You know, I'm open to all your questions. So just send me an email. But but yeah, your guys are saying, yeah, it's it's because it's almost like you're holding on to it because you're like, what if it's hard? What if it's scary? What if it's lonely? It's like it's going to be. So what? Go through it, you know, go push through that. It's worth it because this is your destiny. This is your life. Like what's what's scarier to you? Staying stagnant and staying around the wrong people and settling for less or stepping out of your comfort zone and having it be, you know, maybe having some dramatic uh, endings to friendships or having to cut family members out and maybe, you know, feeling uncomfortable and awkward at first as you start committing to yourself. But then sooner or later, you meet your soul group and you're happier than ever. Like what's scarier? You know what I mean? Like this is the rest of your life we're talking about. Do you really want to settle and be stagnant and be around the wrong people forever? I don't think so. You know, it's worth it. It's worth the, this period of loneliness. It's worth the uncomfortableness that you're going to feel when you start really setting boundaries and putting yourself first and being whoever you want to be, regardless of whether or not it resonates with the people around you. Like it's going to be uncomfortable at first. And this is, I mean, for this energy group, it's just a continuation of this, um, of the story we were doing a couple of weeks ago, you know, which makes sense. I mean, cause this is the group of Virgos I channel. So it's like the same story, but there's more details to it now. Um, the, the, the further details I'm picking up is that, is that yes, she'll go through this phase, but then you're going to start, you're going to go through like another psychic awakening where you're, again, you have to protect yourself too. You might need to cut some cords and do some shielding and grounding work as well. Cause you might have some frenemies around you. You might have some jealous types or people that just want to tie you down and they're trying to present themselves as like, you know, people that love you, but they really don't. Um, but, but your, your dreams and your visions are going to get stronger and stronger. And I feel like you're going to start telepathically communicating with someone that's going to be your life partner. Now this could be a soulmate or a twin flame. Cause we have open, honest communication message. So you guys might be telepathically messaging each other, or it could be like someone notices your energy and then they, they come forward and you guys kind of take it slow and they, you know, you pull them because you're pulling them in, you know what I mean? Like they're noticing you, they're noticing how unique and different you are. So you start pulling them in at a certain point. Tell me more about this new person. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation, like traveling together, um, you know, like fresh start, like look at this. They're both sitting on a motorcycle. This is like, they don't care what anyone thinks. They're just, look at them. They're right on the beach. They're like, nah, this is, they're just all, he's all about her. She's all about him. Or it could be male, male and female, female, whatever the story is for you. But, but they're like all about each other. They don't, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're living their best life. They're, that's the life that's in store for you. If you're willing to go, if you're willing to take the road less traveled, if you're willing to take the road less traveled, this is the life that's in store for you. Yeah, someone might start watching you. Like, maybe they kind of see you. This could be someone on your social media that kind of sees you as just like everyone else because you're trying to, like... Like, you go to post things, but you're like, oh, I shouldn't say that. That's too emotional. Like, I like you're led to post things. Like, you're led to, like, maybe post your story or you're led to post certain pictures. And you're like, no, that might offend someone or that might be too emotional or that, that maybe I should tone it down. I don't know. People might not like that post. But like when you really start just being yourself, you're like, you know what? I'm going to share my story. Like you own everything that happened to you. It's your story to tell. You know, you you own everything that happened to you. And when you start telling your story, I feel like someone might start noticing on social media and might start setting you apart. And this could also be someone in public. Like this could be someone like at that you like like at a store or like a cafe or someplace that you go to that maybe like sees you, but you're always just dressed the same and you're always kind of shy or whatever. So it's like they don't not that you're not beautiful, but it's like they can't notice your beauty because it's like you're toning it down. You know what I mean? Like you're you're trying to blend in, so you you do blend in. You know, you're trying to, it might not even be like trying to blend in, but it might just be like, kind of like almost like mental exhaustion. Like you're just trying to go with, with society, along with society. Cause you don't have the energy right now to stand on your own. But, but when you really start, you know, dressing how you want to dress, speaking the way you want to speak, posting the things you want to post, just 
setting strong boundaries and you need to protect yourself too. Like I said, cause people will try to drag you down and you need to protect yourself and you need to commit to yourself above all else and stay true to yourself consistently. And when you start doing that, I really feel like someone's going to notice you. Now this could be someone, this is, this is some, I don't know if this is on social media or if this is like out in public, but someone's going to notice you. And this could be someone that already like sees you once in a while, but maybe they just don't notice you because it's like you dress the same way all the time or you, um, you always just share little clips and stuff on social media, but you don't ever post your real feelings. Like you kind of tone it down. But like when you start posting your story, someone's going to be like, wow, like that's amazing. That's beautiful. I resonate with that. Someone's going to be drawn to that. They're going to, you know what I mean? It's like they're, they're going to just feel that energy and be drawn to you. And then they're going to want this with you. They're going to, they're going to see that you're a kindred spirit. They're like, oh, wow, this person isn't what I thought. They're actually much more creative and much more unique than I ever imagined. And they're going to want to choose their words wisely and plan their approach and try to figure out how to come in and because they don't want to be weird, but they're going to start relating to you because you're, you're sharing yourself. You know what I mean? I think you've been waiting and hoping and praying for someone that's like got a fear of commitment. And you got to let that go, to be honest. Yeah, you need some truth and clarity. There might be a soul contract that needs to be broken. Tell me about the new person, though. Tell me more about the new person. Publicity, social media, that doesn't surprise me. Oh, sorry. I forgot you can't see it. That doesn't surprise me. Like, someone might be might start watching you. Or it could be someone you meet, it could, like I said, it could be either, it could be someone you meet like at a club or a party or some kind of social event or even just out in public, like a grocery store or a gas station or something. It could be someone that like you see, like maybe someone that works there and like you see them all the time, but they just, they don't, you're always like shy and you don't really say anything to them. Like you don't, you know what I mean? Like you just, you seem like everybody else to them, but you're not like everybody else. But that's, you know, and they're not like everybody else. Maybe they're doing the same thing where they're just kind of blending in, kind of going with the flow. But it's like when you stand, when you're yourself, this person is going to, you're going to be surprised how much someone resonates with that energy. And it's going to be worth it. All If you have 50 people that laugh and think you're ridiculous and you have that one person that's like your life partner and who thinks you're amazing, that's going to be worth the 50 people that laughed at you. You know what I mean? Like that one person is going to be worth it because that's, you're going to be your home, your safe space. That's going to be the person that gets you, you know, like you're, you're going to feel at home. Like you're going to belong with that person. You know what I mean? Cause you're being true to yourself. So you're going to feel at home within yourself too, because you're finally letting your soul shine through. And you're going to have the people you're going to, at first you're going to be mocked and probably, you know, laughed at and people are going to try to, you, people are used to using you. People use you and, and drain you and they want to keep you in chains. And when you try to break free from those chains, some people are going to get mad. They're going to be like, what? You're standing up to me now. Like what? You want to wear this now? You want to do this now? Like, and you might have to cut some people out. You might have some toxic people you have to cut out. And sooner or later, though, you're going to be successful, like with your music or career or whatever you're doing, like you're going to end up living your best life because you're being true to yourself above all else, even if it means you have to cut some people out. And these people are probably going to come back around with an apology and regret. And it's going to be too late because you're not going to resonate with that energy anymore. You're going to be like, ooh, I don't think so, muggle. I don't think so, muggles. I don't want you back. You're going to be cold and guarded and distressed. And you're going to be like, nope. Nice try. They're going to be nostalgic and missing you. And you're going to be like, nah, I moved on to something better. I chose a better path. You're not going to want them. You're not going to want them. But yeah, let's look at the new person more. I said new person, damn it. Yeah, they're going to try to keep you confused and, you know, manipulate you and deceive you. But so you're gonna, you have to break free of that energy, to be honest. You really have to be stronger than that. Because they try to put a blindfold on you and whisper little things in your ear. This could be astral realm deception as well. And you're going to have to really stand up and protect yourself. There could be a spiritual battle that you have to go through um, at first. But but go through it. Honestly, just go through it. It's worth it. If you have these toxic people around you, do what you need to do to cut them out. And you know if they're toxic. This isn't something that you'd be unsure of. Like you would, you're Intuitively, you would feel this energy. You would know that it's time to do this. And you would know, you would see the red flags and be in denial of them possibly, but you would know that they're there. Like your soul would be screaming at you to do this. You know what I mean? But show me the new person a little bit more, please. 
Okay, they're gonna keep showing me the old. Yeah, this is gonna move fast once you cut these cords. Once you take this blindfold off, because you've been trapped and blocked and tied up by someone or something or multiple people even. Once you take the blindfold off and you cut these cords, this, this person's gonna come in fast. Because once you do that and you free yourself, you're going to feel like the spiritual energy where you're just going to be like, I'm going to wear whatever I want. And then you're going to go out and you're just, the synchronicity is going to line up. You're going to be seeing the numbers everywhere, like 1111. And then boom, you you just met someone and you're standing face to face with your soulmate. And you're like, wow, that was quick. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> yeah, you might have to go through a power struggle and you might have to, if you're a witch, you might have to use some um, magic actually. You might have to go into psychic battle because there might be people that are depending on you energetically. You might have some psychic vampires around you actually that are draining your energy and they might get pissed when they don't have that energy source anymore. So you might have to put some intention out there and use your magic to, to you know, go through this power struggle and cut some people out and win this battle. You'll win this battle. If you're willing to fight and be true to yourself, I do see you winning this battle. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, and like I said, if it resonates, I can look more in depth into this for you. I can see who this person is that might be doing this to you. I can see who the new person is. Um, any details you might want to know about them. Just whatever you want to know. My email is in the description box. And if it resonates, uh, please subscribe. And any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. Thank you for watching.